I want to remind you or tell you that this revelation, the Quran, was revealed 1424 years ago to an illiterate, that means a man who had no schooling, a man born in the desert, an Arab chosen by Almighty God to receive a revelation. A man like Jesus, a man like John the Baptist, a man like Zachariah, a man like Isaac, a man like Ismail, a man like Moses, a man like Abraham, a man like Noah, a man like Adam, alayhi salam, peace and blessing be upon him, a man, a messenger, and a prophet. Now this Quran that he recited is recited by 1.4 billion people in the world and memorized from cover to cover 6,626 verses by literally millions of Muslims. Not a few, but millions. And it is the ambition of every Muslim to have a son or a daughter in their life that memorizes this entire book. So it's not a phenomenon, except that this book was memorized and preserved in the life of the one that it received it from God. And in his lifetime, it was memorized and it was retained and never changed and intact until now. Look what it says. I gave you some statistics and the basis of it was from the Quran. The Quran says, and a sign for them is the dead earth. It is brought back to life and then from it springs fruits and grains of all kinds which they eat. And we place therein gardens and palm trees and grapevines and cause them to burst forth therein some springs that come from the ground that man doesn't control himself. And there he creates his industry. That they may eat of the fruit created by God and their hands have not produced it at all. So will they be grateful? Exalted is he who created all life in pairs. So the Quran establishes that everything in life, everything in life has been created in pairs. Were the plants, were the animals, were the insects, were the fish or bacteria. Has science ratified that, that everything in life has been created in pairs? Yes, the Quran said that. 1,424 years ago. And of course, the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, he wasn't a botanist. He wasn't a geologist. He didn't have a microscope. He had no way of knowing that. The only way a human being, 1,424 years, could know that is through the help and inspiration of the one who is the creator from the beginning because that fact that everything has been created in pairs was only discovered 78 years ago, scientifically. And a sign for them is the night that we extract from the light of the day. Now this is the phenomena itself that we have now discovered from going out of space. Dear brothers and sisters, all of this is to establish in your minds, all of this dialogue, all of this evidence, all of this proof is to clearly establish in everybody's mind here that you and I know all of us together, know all the human beings in other places throughout the earth. None of us individually endowed or unendowed, intelligent or unintelligent, educated or otherwise, rich or poor, black or white, male or female, none of us are benefactors. Who's the benefactor? Who's the benefactor? God. 
the Almighty, the Creator, your Lord, my Lord. This was established by those prophets and messengers, those extraordinary human beings that I spoke about a few moments ago. That was already established. I didn't need to come here and establish that. I just need to come here and remind you of that. Now those extraordinary human beings were the ones that came to tell other human beings who thought at that time that they were somewhat sophisticated. Isn't that, you know, this is unique about humans. At every age, even 5,000 years ago, they thought they were modern. At every age, human beings, no matter what stage of development they are at, they think that they are modern and more sophisticated than others. This is the nature of human beings. Yet all of them don't seem to ponder on the fact that they're only here for a moment. And some of them, during the moment that they're here, they become so arrogant. They begin to say that we, we, we are the owners. We are the peacekeepers. We are the organizers. We are the administrators. We are the ones who created ourselves, determined for ourselves, legislate for ourselves and others, and we own everything and we determine everything. Isn't there some people that say that? You're either with us or against us. And don't give man, don't give man a few tools that he can use. A few things that he can throw or some missiles that he can shoot, he really becomes arrogant. Then Abraham went to Pharaoh and talked to Pharaoh. Pharaoh told Abraham, why should I worship your God? Why? I have command over life and death. Anybody I want to die will die. Anybody I want to live will live. What did Abraham say to Pharaoh? The one you kill, bring him back to life if you got power. And if you got some power, when the sun sets in the west, you cause it to rise and make it set in the east. Was Pharaoh able to do that? He wasn't able to do that then, and the Pharaohs today can't do it.